Hello, today we're going to show you how to install a 3000 series cracker plate. This is a 3960 machine behind us. Um, we're going to install it, it fits the 3970, fits the 3975. There's another cracker plate that also fits the 3940 and the 3950. It's installed exactly the same way, so after you watch this video, you'll be very aware of how to install our cracker plate. So let's get started. Okay. So what comes with your cracker plate is, of course, the plate, a bowl kit, and written instructions. And I found it uh, very easily to do some of the pre-assembly outside the machine instead of going in inside the machine and kind of crawling over. So you have a four inch adjustment bolt and you have a three inch lock bolt. What I like to do is put the adjustment bolt in first like this and run your nuts down to where it's going to kind of be adjusted. Takes one of those. This will all make a lot more sense after we get it installed. two big three quarter inch bolts are for the front and we'll uh, we'll show you how to put them those on as well Good. okay let's open her up and get started Okay, the trick is here is there's two holes in the in all the frames right underneath the um, feed rolls. There's a big couple of big holes. This is where your three quarter inch bolt goes through. And your I can feel our cracker plate on the inside. We gotta line that hole up. So doing that. We get it really close first by moving the back of the cracker plate and feeling with one of your fingers in the front here. Carefully holding the cracker plate in the back. And then just hand tighten them for now. That I like to tighten those two bolts last. Okay, there's also a bolt on the other side, but I'm going to try and get um, this set up here in the back first so that when I'm over there in a more difficult area, I know the hole will be lined up. So now we're going to take the cracker plate and put the adjusting bolts on. Okay, and this is where I like to try and turn the cutter head just a little bit. Make sure I'm not hitting it. So with all these, the four bolts in, intact, um, now let's go around the front and try and start that other long bolt, the three, the three quarter inch bolt. So the last bolt that we install is the three quarter on the left side of the machine. It's kind of a bugger to get at, but um, there's a hole on the side of the machine and there's a bushing that goes on the sidewall, washer, lock, 
lock washer. And of course there's a nut welded on the on our cracker plate. So let's uh, let's get this one started. Okay, so the next trick is the knives are about half worn. So we're going to have about half of the adjustment on the cracker plate here. This is your adjusting bolts and this is your lock bolt. So once you get your adjusting bolts set, you just uh, set your lock, which we'll show you. The trick is you cannot see our cracker knives to the cutter knives from any, any particular spot on the machine. And it's very tricky to try and get your hand in there. But there is a way if the auger's in one spot, and if you stand right here, you can kind of crawl your hand through here and pick on one of the knives. Basically, just try and get a feel for a sixteenth to an eighth clearance. Okay, we're missing them because there's no noise touching it but we're we're pretty close so we're going to adjust them down to about level it don't take much movement from up here to move it from back down there Feels really good. So we've got about a sixteenth of clearance in there between the knives, the cutter drum knives, cracker plate knives, so that you get the optimum performance cracking your kernels. So the only thing we have left is if we have these top bolts set, we have to Okay, that's your adjusting bolt. Now you want to lock your cracker plate in place. You take top of this, top of the nut is to lock it up here, the bottom of the nut, the, the bottom nut is to lock it down here. So run the bottom nut and get enough bolt to put pressure against here. Once you do that, snug it up. We don't want this baby to move. After you get the bottom one, then you want to do the top one. So after you get everything tightened in the back, then don't forget to take your inch and an eighth uh, wrench and, your, and tighten those two three quarter inch bolts in the front. So uh, when you're done tightening all the bolts, move the cutter head, the auger will move with it so it gets stuck, but listen to make sure the knives are clearing all your cracker plate knives. And uh, shut the hood and you're ready to crack some kernels.